vectors. Vectors are quantities which have magnitude and direction and scalar quantities which have only magnitude. You can always represent a translation by a vector. So, for example, if an object is here at point P, later on this object is moved to this point Q. Now, this translation from P to Q can be represented by this vector. We can name this vector PQ, or we just call it vector A. Then the length of this line, suppose it's 5 units, will be the magnitude and the direction if we have angle with the positive x axis here. Suppose this angle is 45 degrees. Then this vector PQ or A has magnitude 5 and angle 45 degree means is due north east. Now we look at these quantities. We distinguish whether these are scalar or vectors. So we write the scalar ones here. Time is a scalar quantity. Then speed, because it has only magnitude, so speed. Distance. and temperature. So these are the scalar quantities. Then vector velocity is vector. Because it got the magnitude and direction. Force, you need to know the magnitude and the direction. And we could have another quantity which we haven't got here is displacement. So displacement would be vector quantity. Now we look at this vector AB, which can be presented by A. So when we go from A to B, we're going one unit, two, we're going three unit in the positive x direction. Then we go two units and the negative y direction. So that's how we represent this vector AB. Here this is the x part and this is the y part. So A to B means 3 to the right, 2 down. So this is the vector AB. So now we write the vector AB in this form, which is called the column vector. So from A to B, we count how many units in the x direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then 2 units in the y direction. So this vector is 7, 2. B to C. 1, 2, 3, 4, that's negative, 
extraction, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the minus 7. Yes, yeah, so because the negative y direction. Then finally, AC. So it's 1, 2, 3, and the extraction. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5 is a negative, because a negative y direction. Now adding and subtracting vectors, what we do simply, we deal with x part with x and y part with y. First to answer this, a, this vector is just twice the vector A. So just multiply each component, X and Y, by 2. So this is 6, 14. Then B plus C. So we just add the X components. 2 plus minus 3, going to be minus 1 minus 4 plus minus 4 would be minus 8. A minus B so 3 minus 2 is 1. 7 minus minus 4 is 11. So D So we have to multiply the vector a by 2, b by 3, then add. So 6 plus 6 will make it 12. Times by 2, which is 14. Times by 3, which is minus 12, now add. So the answer is minus 2. Now this from O to A is a vector A. So this is the sort of horizontal direction. Then the slant direction here, O to B, is represented by vector B. So to answer part A, three other vectors which are equal to A or equivalent to A, because B to D is going to be parallel and exactly the same length. So B to D will have the same direction and same magnitude. So we write vector V D or A to C is basically exactly the same length and direction and C F so we could use any, there's so many, so D, G, or G, I, J, K, H, J, E, H, they're all equivalent to A. Three vector equivalent to B, is A to D. B to E. And we could have C to G. or F, I, I, K, G, J, all of them are equivalent to B. C, are equivalent to minus A, so these vectors will have the same length, but in the opposite direction. So all the answers we got in part A, it's, it's minus of them, so we change the letters around, so we D to B, C to A, just coming back, then F to C, then naming minus B, so all the answers we got in B, we just change them around, D to A, E to B, 
than G to say.